Hey everybody, welcome back to another hardcover review. Today we are doing the fantastic Batman The Dark Knight Saga Deluxe Edition. Uh, of course, this is written by Frank Miller. Klaus Jansen did the artwork along with colors and art from Lynn Varley. Um, this is basically, this is one of my favorite hardcovers that have come out. This is basically what you got in the original Absolute. That was like the Dark Knight Absolute. But in a very small, nice, you know, easy to hold in your lap and read package. So, uh, first things first, got a nice dust jacket on it. And this is pretty glossy, pretty, pretty nice one. You take it off, you got some awesome artwork. This is actually the same artwork that's on the Absolute, the original Absolute that came out, I don't know, 10 years ago or so. Um, I know they've done reprints of it, but I'm not sure if the artwork is the same in those. But this was what was on the original cover. This is just shrunken down in, the, in like a, I think it's probably like seven and a half by 11 and a half deluxe size. Um, and so, yeah, you get all the cool artwork. You get a nice spine. It says, you know, Batman, the Dark Knight Saga, and all that stuff. And then you get a nice uh, Robin on the back. And then as you open it, you see the paper. You get some nice... It's like nice. It's not too thick, not too thin. It's got good, good weight, and it's not super glossy. It is more glossy than some of the other ones, but it's um, it fits with the the artwork, especially this one. All the coloring is pretty muted in the original Dark Knight Returns, but as you get into the um, the Dark Knight Strikes again, it, it gets more and more uh, like you can, you can tell like it's more glossy with the brighter colors that's in. The Dark Knight Strikes again. So, but these ones, I mean, you can see it's probably been recolored for this, but it's done very, very well. Um, and I mean, it's amazing looking. Just this book is so good. If you haven't read this book, you also get an introduction by Frank Miller. Um, I don't know if this is a new one or not. This might be a new one for this deluxe edition, but probably not. It's probably the same one that's in the absolute. Um, but yeah, so you get the, the awesome story that is The Dark Knight Returns. If you haven't read it, you should read it. It's amazing. <laughs> it's one of the best stories you've ever, or you probably will ever read in comics. Uh, and it's Batman. And if you don't like Batman, it might make you like Batman more. Um, it's fantastic. So, uh, and then, so there's four issues of the original four issues of Batman Return or the Dark Knight Returns. And then uh, we get halfway through it, and there's like a little one page break, and then, which is this. And then you get, book one of Dark Knight Strikes Again. And so for those of you who don't know, there was like about a 15 or 20 year break in between these two books in reality, like when they came out. So the first one, Dark Knight Returns, came out in like 1986. And this one came out in like 2000, I think, something like that. So pretty, pretty long break in between. So there's definitely some different art looking from Frank Miller by then. His, his style had definitely evolved into whatever it is now. Whether you hate it or like it, it's, you know, <laughs> it's Frank Miller. So uh, you got to give him props for what he did before. And, you know, if you don't like his new stuff, I found this one, the, the Strikes Again, to be the most jarring for its kind of digital um, coloring scheme, I guess. Everything like really, really colorful, probably because, oh, now we can color digitally and it's easy to do. And we can do any color we want. So let's really give it all our, you know, 100% color on everything. So. Um, but you can see some of the drawings aren't as refined, uh, we'll say, as The Dark Knight Returns. But I found the story fun and good. And then if you've read all of them, um, you know, it kind of puts it in order. Because this is only one and two. The third one came out, you know, recently. And that's on its own hardcover, which I'll probably do later. Um, and then there was a two other, like, one-shots that were in this universe as well. So those two are just kind of like, one, one's about Jason Todd. Uh, you know, as Robin, and then the other one is about Superman's kids after the events of the third volume of this uh, Dark Knight universe. So, um, yeah, it's not super long. Like I said, I think there's only three issues of Dark Knight uh, Strikes Again, and then in the back you get a little bit of extra material. It's not like so much that it's you know, whoa, holy crap! Look at all this new stuff. I think it's probably all like reprints of things that have been in other stuff. Uh, but you get, like, all the four covers of the original Dark Knight Returns. And then different covers for the trade paperbacks. Um, some other covers for the Dark Knight. There's the three covers for the Dark Knight Strikes Again. 
So, you know, you get some nice artwork for that. Statues that were for Dark Knight Strikes again. Um, toys. You know, you get to see a little bit of extra stuff, but nothing that's super, like, amazing. Some nice artwork from, uh, I guess these are the original pages from Dark Knight Strikes again, or Dark Knight Returns. So that's, like, that's pretty cool. Um, this is cool. You get, like, kind of blueprint looking on these ones. But um, for the most part, I think everybody knows, you know, this is like one of those seminal books, especially Dark Knight Returns, obviously, but, and even the rest of this universe is pretty awesome. Um, you know, we, in our podcast, we did, uh, all, all of them. <laughs> we did all three of the main books and then we did, um, the two side one shots as well. So, um, we, we, we liked them pretty good. And if you read them in order, like one after the other, they flow pretty good, even though the artwork's a little bit different, but what are you going to do? You get older, you change your style, you know, can't can't fault a man for that so um this book retails for 49.99 um but you can get it you know at your lo local comic book store usually to get 25 percent off um or you can get it on a sale like around labor day or so or if, you know black friday christmas one of those and then uh you can definitely on amazon find it for probably around there maybe digitally i don't think i saw anything on amazon that was actually less than cover price for this but it definitely um is worth it to me uh this is like perfect size for reading in your lap you know nothing too large uh nothing tiring your hands out um and the art looks fantastic in it and i don't know it's perfect size for me so uh, i like this one a lot pick it up if you can and uh stay tuned for the next hardcover review thanks bye